What's going on guys, it's Wedge and Paradox Customs, and today I am giving you guys more frames. No, this isn't clickbait. I'm kind of sick and tired of only the high-end PC users being able to experience a smooth Call of Duty experience. I think the whole reason that we switched to PC in the first place was to actually have more enjoyable COD. And um, honestly, lately, just seeing people play on 90 FPS or like 110 FPS, and not even capping out their refresh rate really bothers me. And I don't think it's fair to the people who can't spend three or $4,000 on a PC. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys not only some settings, but some quick tips and stuff like that as to how to maximize the performance of your PCs. And how to make sure that your Call of Duty experience is actually at least competitive with those around you. Anyways, first and foremost, obviously, in-game settings are super, super, super important. Um, it goes without saying that in-game settings are obviously going to make or break your gameplay um, in terms of performance, smoothness, stuff like that. So make sure you guys are going to follow along to the end of the video where I have my settings and the settings that we recommend here at Paradox Customs because those settings are without a doubt the best settings you can get right now in terms of look, feel, and performance for the game anyways another thing i really want to touch on here is pc optimizations man first of all don't go get robbed and spend 300 dollars on a pc optimization that is horrible it is not worth it and they are doing justice i don't want to plug ourselves but i feel like it kind of has to be done because we do currently offer some of the most competitive rates for the best PC optimizations in the industry we're only charging 80 dollars we've also done sales and we plan on doing it sooner we go down to 50 dollars and we have our optimizers we have two really really dope optimizers burke and john aka breeze off and um they truthfully just go through your entire pc and make it run like a well-oiled machine doesn't matter how much you spent on your pc either 1500 or 4000 they are gonna go in and tweak the little stuff and make sure your window settings your game files and everything is just performing at the utmost ability so definitely definitely i would recommend maybe getting an optimization bias because we do have the best optimizations we are offering competitive prices and probably better prices than 99.9 percent .9 of our competition and the optimizations are proven to work i'm gonna throw up a quick clip here where you can see a post optimization versus a pre-optimization on the same rig And um, this is actually recorded by our guy Breeze Off, like I said, one of our lead optimizers. And you can see the insane difference, not only in terms of your peak FPS, but also the average. Your average FPS jumps up so much just because your PC is running at such a higher rate and it's running so much more efficiently. So as you guys can see from this gameplay here, this is my own gameplay. I'm running on a 5900X, uh, 3070 Ti build with 32 gigabytes of RAM. And um, honestly, I really can't complain. I'm only playing on a 144 hertz monitor, but the fact that I'm getting this much frames consistently, gunfight, five counts around a corner, if I'm jumping, if I'm in a streak, I'm consistently getting the right amount of frames. And it kind of just goes to show that like this optimization did work for me. And not only that, but the pairing with the settings and everything else I'm going to touch on in this video really does make a difference. Anyways, I'm not going to say that these optimizations are a necessity to get decent frames. That's not fair. I don't think that's the case either. I definitely think it makes a massive, massive difference. But I also think if you're playing on a 2000 series car, you could get some decent frames. You don't need the newest, best, uh, best of the best type of hardware to be competing at a good level and making sure that your game feels as good as those around you. And really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go through the settings of literally the best settings for this beta. Please do not use any other settings because these settings literally after my optimization, I was getting about 20, 30, maybe 40 more frames on average. And then after I switched to these settings, shout out Berkey's. He tweeted them initially. He's again, one of our optimizers. My frames jumped from like 160 to like 220. These settings are, they, I can see the game great, looks great, feels great. There's no tears, it's smooth. And my FPS is definitely reflecting everything I just said. So guys, please, my, my number one thing for this video is stop getting scammed, stop spending so much money on these optimizations if you are in the past, and maybe going with somebody who charges you $300 and promises you an arm and a leg, because it's just not happening. Um, there is other people who optimize PCs at a high level. I truthfully do think we are the best. With that being said, even if you are gonna go with somebody else, just please do your research, make sure that we're all paying attention and we aren't giving up way too much money for a subpar service. So like I said, I'm gonna hop in and do some settings and I'll be right back. All right guys, hopping in settings here, we're gonna see obviously that our display mode is on full screen and we have 1440p going on the dis uh, display resolution. So if you guys don't have 1440p, you can actually expect a little bit of a boost if you're playing on 1080 only and then refresh rates obviously at my monitor's max 144 143 i guess and then we're going to go ahead and on over to quality now guys 
our biggest pet peeve with settings videos and stuff like that is a lot of people just put all their settings to low, show you a screenshot of you getting 500 FPS because you're on all very low settings and expecting that to be the best. Now, what we do here is we try and do the best quality and performance without sacrificing a ton of visual appeal and look to the game. You know, you want the game to look and feel smooth, not just feel smooth. Now, quality presets are going to be on custom, obviously, with the NVIDIA image scaling on, which is kind of a hot take. Trust us. This makes us look and feel the best. It's kind of the best give and take. Um, Fidelity cast looks better, but does not feel this good. So we have it on quality and on 0.3 here. Our anti-aliasing is on SMWA T2X with level of nearby detail on low. This one's preference. You could probably put this one up to high. I have mine on low though. Um, moving on, we have texture resolution on normal with, again, like I said, we're not doing all low settings here. Texture, filter, anisotropic on high with particle quality on high. Bullet and sprays on. A lot of people had this off and it just doesn't look good. So we're turning this on with shader quality on medium, tessellation off, and on demand texture streaming off as well. Now, streaming quality we have on normal um, with our shadow map resolution on very low. This makes a big difference here, as is the spot uh, shadow quality. We have this one on medium. So we're going to go ahead and turn on these two settings right here cache spots, shadows, and uh, sun shadows. And we also have particle lighting on normal with ambient occlusion and SSR off. Now, video reflex low latency. A lot of people like to turn this on on plus boost, but if you already have it on plus boost in your, or sorry, if you already have this enabled in your control panel settings on NVIDIA, some games actually cancel this out and it causes a weird stutter thing. So we're not going to do that, but we are going to turn depth of field on off as well as motion blur on our weapon. All this is preference, obviously, but off, off, zero film grain. And guys, these are literally, without a doubt, the best settings we found so far. We tweeted these settings and our tweet kind of blew up. I'm going to put that on the screen here as well, just to kind of show you guys that a lot of people are rocking with these settings and they're making a big difference. This entire video, anytime you saw gameplay was shot on these settings. And I definitely, definitely recommend at least giving them a try and let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. All right, guys, some other quick notes as we got back to the video here is it's really important to remember that we are still playing a beta, guys. I know we like to give Activision and Call of Duty a lot of slack, but we are playing a beta. It's not uncommon for other betas to not be the greatest when it comes to optimization. And MW2 is no different, man. It's not the most optimized game. I am confident that they will get it together and get the game a little bit more optimized upon full release. But it's definitely important to keep in mind that we are playing a beta. I've also noticed a lot of people uh, tend to complain about their FPS. and have a million tabs open, guys. Please, for the love of God, close your tabs when you're playing a game, especially a game like COD. It makes a massive difference. Obviously, you're going to windows game mode on stuff like that make sure the xbox game is off just some little things again guys it's just super important to stress that this is a beta it's gonna get better hopefully um i do have faith that this year is actually gonna be pretty good what i've seen so far i actually am liking the game so those rest of the team over here and there is some some things i would like to see fixed but hey what, what can you do again guys it is a beta please go easy on the infinity ward and activision actually might have a pretty good game on their hands this year i really like what i'm seeing so far so um yeah just Keep in mind that we're playing a beta and it should get better. Hey guys, if you haven't followed along on our Twitter, we have been posting regular updates, some statistics and stuff like that as to what you want to do performance wise. Um, follow Berkius and Breeze off on Twitter as well as they've absolutely been killing coverage of the game in terms of the optimization world. Um, definitely make sure you guys give them a follow and kind of stay up to date with their tweets. And yeah, man, I'd honestly just love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you guys think of the game? What guns have you been running? And uh, how much potential do you guys think this game has? I think this game is actually super underrated so far. I think I've seen a lot of hate. A lot of it justifiably so, but I think there's a lot of small things that it fixed. This can actually be a really, really good two-year cycle for the first time ever of COD. Like I said, guys, let me know in the description down below what you guys thought. If you guys enjoyed, please do not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.